I'm Jason Hoffman. My goal is to help you have the confidence to just press go live. So the Mevo Start, wildly successful, took on the eMeet Streamcam 1 in our most recent head-to-head -head shootout. Today, it takes on Nearstream's VM33, wildly revolutionary in terms of live streaming cameras. We'll look at the differences, we'll look at the similarities, and we will crown a winner at the end of this video. So I'm testing these two cameras, looking at the video quality, listening to the audio quality, mashing buttons in the software, you know, the nuts and bolts of what live streaming cameras do. And I see the video quality is actually quite different between the two cameras. I've recorded and streamed with both cameras quite a bit in the past couple of months, and the final product from these two cameras really is quite different. Now, the obvious difference is the VM33's ability to zoom, optical zoom, 10 times original size. So whether you're three feet in front of your camera or whether you are 30 yards from the camera, you have the same quality. With the Mevo, it only offers digital zoom, so the 30 yards away things are, they're not nearly as clear. We'll be doing a screen grab of these two pieces of software running on my iPad here. I've got them both running in Stage Manager, so they're both on top. I can have the VM33's software and the Mevo Starts software on as well. Both are recording to their SD cards, and I'm running audio externally. So audio should be the same until we test audio for the two individual cameras. But you'll be able to see the difference in their software. You'll be able to see the difference in their monitor window as far as what they produce. But then we're using these two cameras to record this, so you'll be able to see the difference both indoor and outdoor. Uh, my backyard, baseball field, sun, shade, uh, all the different types of places you might be using these two cameras to do your own live streaming. When we leave the obvious difference of optical zoom versus digital zoom, from this point, things turn around pretty quickly. You see, digital zoom, cropping on the start, is what allows you to choose different shots from within your frame. The VM33 doesn't, and it's a bigger difference than you might think. Take this shot of a baseball field, for example. First and third, whole infield. If I don't like the shot I have, changing it only requires changing the software. On the VM33, while I can get a great shot of the batter or the pitcher or even folks in the outfield, if I need to adjust the shot other than zooming straight line in, I have to readjust the camera. So while video quality is a thing, and they are different video qualities, video flexibility is too, and it seems to be pretty important after all. So working with these two cameras reveals some things about their audio options as well. If you're streaming baseball and you're not doing play-by-play, -play, audio just needs to catch game sounds. But if you're streaming worship, or you're streaming music, or the spoken word, or a wedding, audio makes or breaks the experience. So audio options include built-in MIMS microphones for both of them. Three for the Mevo Start, eight for the VM33. Is more better? Well, you tell me. Here it is from the VM33's eight built-in MIMS microphone. And here's audio from the Mevo Starch three built-in MIMS microphones. Both have the built-in three and a half millimeter jack where you can add external microphones if that's what you need to do. The Start does also have the digital audio in via the USB-C port as well. By the way, did you notice I got a new studio microphone? It is the Fafine K688, and man, does it make me sound smooth. As I was exploring these two cameras, I got around to comparing the software. The advantage of six plus years of software development really does show for the Mevo Start. Nearstream has an incredibly talented team of developers, and they are working on their software but building from scratch means serious growing pains. Until those growing pains are worked out, the Mevo Start software will be the better option, hands down. Both are multi-camera systems, and adding cameras is similar for both. Hitting the plus button, choosing your asset to be a camera, and setting up the Wi-Fi or the access point for either one. Overlays and graphics are standard for each of the pieces of software. Where the Mevo is going to show itself more advanced is in its single cam app, 
there's a second option for the Mevo if you just have one of their cameras. And in the extras you can add in their multicam app, NDI and Mevo Go are both pay-to-play subscriptions, but both push this experience way far ahead of any other live streaming in the field. Video, audio, software, now that's the three big pieces of what makes a live streaming camera quality or not. So what's our final answer? Which camera gives the better experience? Well, the hardware in the VM33 is pushing it in spite of their software as it grows. The software in the Mevo Start is pulling it in spite of its now aging hardware. Here's the thing, the software in the Nearstream will keep improving, but the hardware in the Mevo will not until a new camera is released. So there's a serious question as to which you would rather invest your money in at this point. Do you trust that the VM33 software will come along and you'll be able to use this as your go-to camera or set of cameras in the future? With all the questions, with all the information, all of that being said, I still think the Mevo comes out on top. That's just my opinion. But here are the caveats. Nearstream has said NDI is on the timeline. And I can imagine mixing and matching the two cameras in either software once the bugs are worked out. Mevo is very tight-lipped about the possibility of a next camera. Waiting for their new hardware has been a source of frustration for some users. And other options, like the recently compared Streamcam 1 or the upcoming Obsbot Tail Air coming to Kickstarter, mean there's a lot of research that new live streamers get to do but what great options we're starting to see in the live streaming world. How could you stay mad at such a pretty face? <laughs> How could you stay mad at such a pretty face? Huh? Yeah, it's a good fella. Take care of those girls for me. <laughs>